So I've been doing Aikido 25 years. I did Judo as a teenager and wanted to move away from competition. My chiropractor actually suggested it as something symmetrical and I've never looked back. I, I grew up in Sydney, but I went to New York in 1978. And in 1980, um, I had a friend who was doing Aikido and she said I should come watch. So I went and watched it. I didn't understand it at all, but it looked amazing. And there were many women on the mat too. And it just drew me in. I've been studying for 41 years. And um, I went along because my husband started with a friend and he was away four nights a week. And I thought, hang on a minute, <laughs> I'm not sitting at home. So I joined him. Aikido is a, a unique martial art in that it's a truly contemporary idea that Budo or the study of the martial way should be about trying to create a better world. The way we train was evolved to suit that philosophy. Uh, it was founded by a man who, as a young person, tried very hard to be very, very strong, but he realised that if you continued to base your life on fighting and competition and conflict, uh, ultimately someone would beat you or in the end old age would beat you. Aikido you use in somebody else's strength and using their momentum. So it's one of the arts that's very soft, yet can be very hard, but yeah, it's, it's being able to use other people's momentum and being aware of your space. The basic principle of Aikido is to be in harmony with whatever you're doing. I think women are ideally suited to Aikido. You train with everybody irrespective of size, shape and strength. That The best Aikido has no strength, it's like being caught up in a whirlwind. And so I think that's why women have a natural advantage. We don't have to learn how to not use strength. Around the world, there are lots and lots of women training in Aikido, and we think that the number of women training is more reflective of the culture of the place where they're training than the culture of Aikido itself. We certainly don't have this as a women's training, and that's a men's training. That's a very important part of Aikido. In New York, we do have a strong body of women all different ages, you know, come from all different backgrounds. You know, we have conversation in the women's change room a lot and we talk about many issue, gender issues that are on the mat or just talk about movies we've seen, but there seems to be a really wonderful camaraderie there. I would say the first 10 years of my Aikido, I was the sole female in the dojo. So you're talking to yourself in the changing room. Certainly our participation rate um, is low. We struggle to have 20% participation in Australia. Some women take time to get used to contact and being touched by men and it's very physical. Sometimes the younger generation I think have an issue about the about females. They don't want to hurt them and they have this, you know, they treat us gently until we throw them and then they think, hang on a minute. <laughs> After a while, they sort of learn that, okay, she can, she can give it, that means she can take it, sort of thing. Generally speaking, the, uh, the atmosphere in Aikido is very harmonious and friendly. Ba competition is strictly banned. It promotes the idea of thinking of the person facing you as your enemy. And that's the antithesis of Aikido philosophy. I think initially it's a self-defense component. They think, you know, they'll go and learn self-defense. Um, which gets lots of us into a martial art. And as time goes on, you, you may gain that skill, but I think naturally in seeing how people change their practice as they get older, they're interested in more the, the deeper and more philosophical aspects of it. You start as a young, arrogant person, and you get older, and things change. It's my mental well-being. It gives me focus. It makes me calmer. I'm a better person for doing it.